Permit me to say how impressed I have been with the spirit of goodwill that has prevailed. Goodwill for Germany. And with tears in my eyes, I see that everyone here has recognized our right to be once again a strong nation. And with my hand on my heart, I declare that Germany needs peace and desires only peace. Peace with England and peace with France. I, uh, too, have been impressed, uh, yes, deeply impressed by the genuine desire for peace manifested at this conference. Unlike our American colleague, we in Europe know the horrors of war. And whether we are French or English or Italian or German, our one desire is to never have to experience them again. Yeah. Impressed, uh, or oh, I may say touched, by the words of goodwill and friendship I have heard. I promise you that I shall do my utmost to change the policy of my country towards that nation which was once our foe, but is now, I may venture to say, our friend. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the United States doesn't want war any more than you do. On the other hand, neither would we care for peace at any price, because some prices, you may find, are too outrageously high to pay. But let's not get into that now. We may all have to soon enough. <clears throat> for the moment, let us simply raise our glasses to Lord Darlington in gratitude for his magnificent hospitality. Yeah. Lord Darlington. Lord Darlington. Lord Darlington. Lord Darlington. Lord Darlington, <clears throat> Lord Darlington is a classic English gentleman of the old school. He's decent and honorable and well-meaning. So are all of you here, all decent and honorable and well-meaning gentlemen. It's been a pleasure and a privilege for me to visit with you here. But, now excuse me, I have to say this. You are, all of you, amateurs. And international affairs should never be run by gentlemen amateurs. Do you have any idea of what sort of a place the world is becoming all around you? The days when you could just act out of your noble instincts are over. Europe has become the arena of real politics, the politics of reality, if you like, real politics. And what you need is not gentlemen politicians, but real ones. You need professionals to run your affairs, or you're headed for disaster. I propose a toast, gentlemen, to the professionals. <laughs> 